Uh, hello, this is, welcome to my, um, chemistry experiment. So, he, here I have, um, this bottle of, um, uh, polluted water, quote-unquote. So, basically, this water has a lot of, uh, weird stuff in it, alright? It's, um, regular water, and it's also some soil, which I got from my backyard. It also has some food coloring, and it also has some baking soda, and I'm gonna try to be filtering it with these uh, six filters I have prepared here. So I have this um, sponge, which, and I also have these bottles, which I will be putting the sponge and also these cotton balls into. So uh, I'll be testing these individually. So, and also there's uh, this top part of the bottle. This, uh, I believe, is some wax paper. So basically, the wax paper is gonna um, keep the sponge from falling into uh, the mixture I have, or the filtered mixture. And it's also supposed to filter some stuff out as well. And here I also have some coffee filter, right here. And I also have a paper towel, a regular bath towel, and that. And yeah, so I'm gonna begin the experiment with just testing the coffee filter by itself. Alright, we're ready to start experiment. So, I got the polluted water, and I'm just gonna dump it in, and we're gonna see what happens to it. Alright, that's a good amount. Now we're gonna wait. You can see, if I hold this up closely, you can see there's some water dripping out of the coffee filter. So it's draining some stuff. And we're just gonna wait a while. I'll just cut the video here and we'll skip to a while in the future while it's all drained. All right, looks like the coffee filter uh, cup has finished filtering. You can see. There's all of the water in there, and you can see there actually isn't much soil or any other stuff in here, but the color's still definitely there. And let's see all the filter stuff inside. You can see there's a little speck of dirt there, but also on the inside, I don't know if you can see this, hold up. Mm. Yeah, there's like some more dirt in there. Oh shoot, it's dripping on the table. But, um... Yeah, so it's also dyed the coffee filter, so I don't know why that happens. Probably soaked into it. But, uh, looks like the coffee filter is able to filter out the, um, the other large objects, such as the, the speck specks of dirt from the water. I don't think this is safe to drink because it probably still has, like, some sort of bacteria from the dirt. But it's free from really, from any really large particles. So, yeah, so that's coffee filter. Okay, next we have the wax paper. So here I have the polluted water. I'm just going to dump it in and see what happens to it. Okay. All right, looks like the pool water is dripping through the wax paper ever so slowly. We'll see how this filter is while in the future. You can see. I don't know if you can see that because of the reflectance of the bottle, but you can see there's some red liquid falling down. I don't think this filters out the food coloring, but uh, yeah, we'll see the results of this soon. Okay, so I left the wax paper um, filter to dry, or like um, to drain. So you can see the wax paper has drained all of the soil, or uh, filtered all of the soil from the pollutant mixture. The food coloring is still there. You can see there isn't anything in there. And if you look closely at this, you can see 
if you can look inside, hold on, give me a second. You can see inside the cup or the um, lid, and you can see that there. It, you can see all the the dirt and the soil and all that stuff, and also some um, some other sticks that were in the soil I used. So yeah, so the wax paper filters out all of the it filters out all of the large objects yeah all right so um this is the coffee filter bottle but instead of just having the coffee filter this time i'm gonna add some cotton balls yeah cotton balls so i'm just gonna jam it in here just so that i can make sure that it doesn't leave any leaks. I'm sure there'll probably be some, but I'll try not to have any. Okay, the cotton balls are in. Just give that a nice little push. And here we have our polluted water. And we're gonna see what happens when we dump the polluted water into this. Oh, it looks like the cotton balls are stroking it up. Don't know how long this is gonna take though. None of it seems to have come out yet though. I don't think this is good. Uh oh. Looks like some of it is going down. Just put a bit more, hopefully that'll do something. So far it looks like it's it's filtering out most of the large particles, like the dirt specks, but nothing's coming out. There's just a bit of water from when I just washed it, but I probably should have emptied that out. There's nothing coming out. Let's see. Oh no, there's a little droplet of water. Let's see what this is. So, um, I'll just wait a while for this to finish filtering, and I'll see, like, when this is done filtering, and we'll look at the results. Alright, it's been, like, a few minutes, and this is the cotton ball one. Nothing has drained out. I think all of the cotton balls uh, soaked up all of the water content, and the soil... And all that other stuff just got stuck with it. I'm pretty sure that baking soda and uh, food coloring were mixed with the water. So they got stuck in the cotton balls as well. So you can see the, the middle cotton ball. It looks dark red, maroon or something. And you can see under here. I didn't attach it actually. There's nothing in there. So uh, yeah, those are the results for the cotton ball filtration experiment. Okay, so here we have a another bottle, but with a paper towel inside. And I'm just gonna see how well the paper towel can fil filter this polluted water. Well, it's a bit more. Okay, looks like it's in. Honestly, I don't think any of the water passed through. We'll see if I'm gonna dump a bit more water because I have more, a bit extra. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Doesn't look like any of the water is going to the bottom. I think all the paper towel just soaked it all up. Anyways, we'll see how this turns up in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been like um, a while later from the paper towel experiment. You can see there isn't anything inside of the container. The top, you can see the actually the. The other larger particles inside of 
the polluted water has been filtered out. It's just on the paper towel, but all the water has been soaked by the paper towel, and it's not going. It's not going to go through. So yeah, that's the results of this experiment. Okay, so here we have another filtering item. It's a sponge. So uh, I just cut the sponge and jammed it into the hole. And at the bottom is just some wax paper. So let's see how well this does in filtering this polluted water I have. Dump a generous amount because I actually have a lot more from the previous experiments. Looks like... Is anything going through? Hmm. Um. Is any water going through at all? Hmm. We'll see how this goes and see what happens in a few minutes. Okay, so this is the finished result of the sponge fil filter experiment. You can see the water actually um, drained through. So here at the bottom is some wax paper, I believe. And you can see the polluted water got through. And actually, you can look at the sponge. You can see there's a clear sign of all that dirt and gunk in the polluted water and it managed to actually separate it all so yeah i don't see any little specks in here so it's pretty good and uh yeah that's the results of the sponge experiment all right so uh this is another part of my uh, chemistry experiment so here i have a giant sprite bottle with a little towel inside. It's a bit tall, so it's hard to see. And I also have the polluted water, so I'm just gonna pour it in. It's a bit loose, so I don't know how that's gonna go. Okay, I hope this works. Uh, in goes the polluted water. All right, a bit of it went in. Uh, we'll see the results later. Uh, yeah. Looks like most of the stuff is being soaked up as the entire job of a towel is to soak water, but the dirt isn't going through. Yeah, I don't think there's any more water. It's all in the towel. I don't think I should. Oh, we'll see how, what, if there's anything different a lot later. Okay. Okay, so this is the larger Sprite bottle experiment. I put a towel in here and dumped the balloon water in. You can see it's about the same as the paper towel. The polluted, uh, or like um, the other larger particles inside of the polluted water. So like some leaves and dirt. Um, they got stuck on the towel, and it's also a bit red from the food, uh, from the water. Nothing is inside the Sprite bottle. All of the water got soaked up by the towel. Yeah, this isn't really good. And also, if you're wondering, the stuff underneath here is a coffee filter. <laughs> 